Hi guys, welcome back to Vintage Halloween. Oh, so much has happened, so much has gone on. So I went to San Diego to my cousin's funeral. Um, he was 31, he died of fentanyl poisoning. So that was, it was just a lot. I think it was like very um, emotionally exhausting. It was wonderful seeing family and everything like that. It was a very healing service, but that was sort of exhausting. And then I had like crazy paranormal experiences like off the chain um, after that. So I'm gonna share that in a video coming up, hopefully this week. But for today, I thought we'd have some fun because it is Sunday fun day and I thought it'd be really fun to share <laughs> so one of my nerdy other collections that I haven't shared on here, I don't think ever um, yet, but I have shared on Instagram. It is my Calico Critter collection. Yes, I have a Calico Critter collection and a village that I set up. <laughs> um, this was in 2020 when I set this up. So yes, but anyway, um, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Laura, that you're finding me on a sort of a funny video because this is like not really what I do mainly, but um, yeah, I'm a Halloween collector. I love Halloween. I collect Halloween. Um, I decorate year round here in my Halloween office and over the top for Halloween every year in my living room, which I'll be doing soon, hopefully in August. And yeah, I love to post on here on YouTube just about my collection, collecting, um, decorating in general. And you can find me on Instagram under the Halloween Collector and for my Halloween art because I'm an artist too under Halloween Hill Studio. I'm on Etsy as well for Halloween Hill Studio. Um, okay, a little backstory on my Calico Critters. So when I was a little kid growing up in Massachusetts, I would come every summer to like spend time in Houston with my grandparents because my mom's from Houston. So. Um, every summer my, my grandmother would give me like $50, which was like a thousand million dollars in the eighties in kids money, of course, as you know, and then we'd go to Toys R Us and I would always be like running to the Calico Critter section. There was another line back then called Maple Town. Um, if y'all are into this and you remember that, that was another line. So I had a couple things. I actually still have two figures from when I was a kid from that line that I got here in Texas. I wish I had more, um, of what I had purchased back then. Uh, I don't, unfortunately. And then 2020 rolled around and like we're sitting in quarantine, like this is very boring. And then I was like, oh, I've always wanted to do a Calico Critter village, like a whole diorama with like all of the like, you know, foliage. Wouldn't it be fun to do like a whole fall village and do like Halloween and do trick or treating? And so that year I like went hardcore. You know, y'all know that I go hardcore. I am like hardcore. You know, if I'm going to do something, I go hardcore. So that in 2020, they trick or treated, the Calico Critters trick or treated. Um, yeah, they had a school party, a Halloween party at the school. Like I did the whole thing. Cause I mean, what else was I supposed to do? I was like sitting doing nothing. Um, and it was just more just like fun for me. Just, I like to set it up and, um, just like have it. It's just fun. So I expanded a little bit. I really, I, what I really want to do is eventually like have like a whole room. That's just like a huge diorama. I don't have the space here at my house right now to do that. So basically what I have is one table set up and I have a bunch of um, shelving set up in my bedroom because my bedroom is enormous and that's what I have so far. So I want to show you what I have so far um, and we can just go check it out. And yeah, it's crazy, but it's fun. It's so fun and it's just, it's a really fun, I think my inner child really enjoys miniatures. I love making miniatures. I love making miniature furniture. I've done a couple things for houses and I also made my own um, miniature movie, movie theater. This was also in 2020 and I shared that on Instagram a little bit, but I haven't shared it here. So I'll show you guys that as well. So um, let's go in the other room in my bedroom and I'll show you the madness. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so we're coming into my bedroom here. Um, it's all lit here, but you can see this is just like a very huge room. Don't look up in this corner. I still have my luggage that I haven't unpacked for my trip. Um, but yeah, so this is just my bedroom. Um, and so this is the bed area. And then that's Toby's blanket. And then on this side is where I have my calico critters. So this is my village. This is what I set up um, in 2020 as my main village. Um, it's so cute. And then on this side, I just have my shelving. And I'll back up a little bit so you guys can see the whole thing. So we have shelving here of houses. Um, and then I have something a little special in the armoire. And then this is my village. So we'll start over here on the village. So this was like my project in 2020. Um, this here was my first house. This is a Calico Critters house. And I really um, went all into it. I decorated a lot of the whole thing. Um, it's changed a little bit. I'd love to go in and redo it. I love to wallpaper. Like now I'm hardcore decorating. Um, and of course in 2020 when I started, I was not hardcore. I just like, you know, got the curtains that came with the set and just decorated that way and sort of went with it. Um, but now it's evolved much since then. And here, this one is set up for fall. It's been fall for like maybe two years, um, but it's just fun. I cut up these little leaves myself. 
or the fake leaves and they just have it's just fun to have like a little fall autumnal scene since we don't have that in Houston I guess so my inner child wanted to fall um but it's so fun just to set it up um so we have the little rabbit family and like they're all looking at their little Halloween this is a Halloween gingerbread house um let's see if it'll focus on this that cute so I have little Halloween, I have little corn here. Mr. Cat is in there. And so this whole house is also decorated in the interior. All these are fully decorated in the interior. Um, let's see if I can pull this up without breaking the lid. But um, so all of these houses are fully decorated in the interior. Um, and it's just fun to just have them. I love setting up houses. I love decorating, as you know. So it's just fun to set them up. And then we can just set up little scenes. Um, and just change the scenes as we want. They were trick-or-treating here in 2020. Um, I think I have some pictures that I can show you guys of that. Um, but isn't it cute? I do want to uh, get different foliage eventually, um, sort of upgrade the landscaping, but for right now, I think it looks really, really cute. And um, yeah, I just love it. So a lot of these houses, um, so these three here, these are Playmobil houses. And this one's Calico Critters. And so I feel like since they're the same scale, they work really well. Um, you can like use them for the Calico Critters. They work really well. They're still half scale. Um, yeah, it's just super, super, super cute. So I set the scene up for y'all today. Um, just have the family. So the, the cat family lives here. Then we have a mouse family. And this mouse family I had as a child. Um, they're actually not outside. Let's see if I can steal them from the back. Let's see if we can look over here and find one. They're a little wordy. I think this is mommy mouse. Ugh. Um, yeah, so this is a family I had as a kid. And I don't know if it's Mabletown or if it's Calico Critters, but I have the mom and the dad and like the daughter. And this is a, a new dress because her dress was just lost. But this is one of the families that I had as a kid that I saved. So it's pretty exciting to have, you know, all of them um, having a house now. And just like, it's just really, really cute. Because I never had any Calico Critter houses as a kid. So... It's fun to have that. Yes. And so I have this. This is just cardboard and a tablecloth because my madness behind it, y'all, it's crazy. So this is just all of my extra stuff that I haven't organized yet. Um, all of that stuff. I did. Oh, let's see if we can fix this. There we go. I did have um, with a mouse family. I had this cute little car as a kid. And this is a Maple Town car. So we'll put it right here so you guys can check it out. Um, this is a Maple Town car. The back opens. It's a bakery car. This is not mine as a kid. I got it on Etsy because I can't find mine. I think I got rid of mine as a kid, but I had this exact car, um, with the mouse family. So I thought it'd be really cool to just see what I had as a kid and like have it again. Maple Town is a really fun line to collect from the eighties. Um, I have this one and I have the police car. So that's fun to collect. But yes, that is this table, um, and this is my village, and let's move into the shelves. I'm gonna show you the shelves next. Okay, so here are my shelves. I move the lighting around, because this is a very dark corner, <laughs> just so you can see um, more we have here in the collection. Um, these are just a lot of houses. Most of these houses are completely decorated on the inside. These two are, um, and then these are just some sort of, you know, little stores, a restaurant, a theater, um, a little ice cream shop, the barber shop. We have the pizzeria grocery store just some fun little stores and this one is sort of a you know big shopping center and I have I actually have a Halloween costume shop here um it's very hard to see Let's see if I can pull this out a little bit um no I can't it's stuck that's the problem with these shelves you can't really show or access things too well because they're just crammed in which is why I sort of want to get more tables um but this is just fun they have a little house it's fully decorated like on top of the store and they all live there. A little mouse family lives there. It's just, it's really, really fun. Um, what I really want to do in the future is this. So these are both two houses that I hand painted myself. This one, I glued egg crate onto the wall. This is all, this stone is all egg crate. Sorry, egg carton, sorry, egg carton from like a carton of eggs. And then I photo painted it and it looks like stone. Um, I actually bought this house from the thrift store um, and add it all. I just glued that on, painted it up. You can see from the side how cute it looks. But this one I actually rigged up with lights. So you'll see these lights that I put underneath. 
Um, it doesn't give off a lot of light, but these are just, you know, really cheap string lights that are battery powered from Amazon. And they add some ambient lighting, but I, it's, it's fun to wire the houses with these lights. And I wired this one up, um, if you can see inside. It's wired up. I'll try to turn this one around so you can see how I've decorated it. But these are all completely decorated. I made the furniture for that one. This one I've also completely decorated. So this one originally looks like this house. This, these two are the same houses. And these are from um, Honey Bee Acres from, I think Walmart is the one who who comes up, who sells that. I'm not really sure. I think you can also buy it on, on Amazon. Um, but anyway, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to really age this one and make it cool and like hand paint it and paint the inside. So I've done the inside as well. And I really want to do that with all my houses. I feel like that would be really fun to just make them all customized and look sort of like this. So these are the only two I've done so far. Um, yeah, but I really want to in the future when I have more time, um, just as a fun hobby, decorate them and make them look cool. But here we have a cute little bunny couple who owns this house. And then the koala family is in this cottage here and they have their garden. Um, it's just really, really fun to set up scenes. This side isn't really autumnal. It's just sort of summery. Um, and then this is like a big work in progress. So we don't have a lot. We don't even have any grass on this one. Um, these houses on top, this one isn't decorated on the inside. I'm working on that. This one is just doesn't have a lot of space. I'm also working on these two. These are both fully decorated. Um, little townhomes. I'm gonna spin around this way. Um, this one is all Halloween themed. Let's see if I can show you a little bit of the inside without knocking everything on the ground. Boop. But yeah, so this one, the black cat family lives here and it's all Halloween themed. It's pretty much fallen down. A lot of stuff's fallen down. That's the hard thing when everything is so dinky and little, the stuff falls down. Um, but that is a Halloween themed one. I want to paint the outside. I want to customize the outside um, up here. And I haven't done that yet. Um, that is my goal in the future. So that's going to be spooky, spooky. This is a really cute house. It's, um, what is the line? I think it's a target line. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'll think of it. Little woodsies. That's it. Um, and then this is Playmobil. This is the Ghostbusters um, firehouse. And I'm going to use it as a library and make it into a library. I haven't done anything with it yet. Um, just got some little bookcases here and there. But so that's my next project. I have so many projects. Um, that's one of my projects I'm going to be working on. Okay, we're going to go down to here. This is my um, diner area. And this is a cute little, you know, diner restaurant. And then I have two. This one is from Little Woodsies. And this one's from Playmobil. And I just put them together. Um, sort of a retro looking diner. Thought that's cute. And this one is a vintage Maple Town from the 80s bear store. I found this on Etsy. It looks brand new, y'all. The person who owned this um, took really good care of it because it looks brand new. I have not set it up or done anything with it yet, but this is a piece I bought last year. Um, original 80s Maple Town. So that was really, really fun to find. And then this is going to be like sort of a gas station. I have, I got these gas station um, little, I think they're John Deere replicas, but they're little, you know, gas holders. And those are, I actually found this at the thrift store in a package. So that was cool. And then this is going to be a gas station. I haven't done that yet. I haven't really had time. And this is the Husky family in their car. They've been there for a while. Um, okay, we're moving on to the fun stuff. So these two houses are also decorated to the hilt on the inside. I'm going to turn some of them around, but this is the one that I made um, out of a cardboard box. This is made out of an Amazon box. Um, this again is the egg carton, um, the same as this over here. Um, it's the same sort of thing. You can, it has a really, really good sort of brick stone texture when you paint it and you layer it on. And um, yeah, so I made, I made this whole thing in 2020. I made this sort of silly <laughs> movie poster. Um, but let's pull this out a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like. The good thing about be being a box, it's a very, very lightweight. But I made the popcorn stand. I made all the food here um, in the counter. I made the counter, um, all the popcorn. The stuff in the back that you can see through here, I didn't make a lot of that. Um, but yeah, so we have that. And then we have the couches. I had another one in the top layer and I've stolen it for another house, but um, those are the couches I made and there's a little movie playing. But this was just a fun project in 2020 to work on again. 
um, when we were sitting in quarantine with nothing to do. It was very fun. And just sort of, you know, it was my first time building something that was miniature um, and seeing how it would turn out. And I was, I had like a really, really fun time with it. So I love it. And these, of course, this is a sticker. Movie Night is a sticker. Um, I made this completely. Um, yeah. So that was the one that I made. So that was really, really fun. Okay, so I turned this one around just so you can see um, what I did on the interior and the paper on the ceiling I put up. We, did, we rigged it again with one of these little wire lights. And so the kitchen I made myself, this whole unit is cardboard. Let's see if I can move her out of the way so you can see. Better, but yeah, this whole unit is cardboard. To some plastic pieces I chopped up for, you know, the, the uh, spigot and the handles and everything like that. Paper for the top. The, um, the stove itself is a magazine cutout that I taped on the front. Same thing with the burners. And then I made the stowed, stove cover, stove ventilation lid um, out of a scrap of paper. And then all of the food, of course, I didn't make that. It's all about some. That's actually from mine from childhood. Um, but yeah, the whole thing is wallpaper with different wallpaper. We have curtains. I made this blue sofa and this blue chair. I'll turn this around so y'all can see. It's not my finest work. I'm just starting to learn how to make furniture. So um, yeah, it's just been sort of fun to you know play with and you know try and figure out how to make furniture. Uh, the sofa turned out a lot better. I also made the pillow on the sofa. So that turned out a lot better. But um, this one is the first one I've really rigged for lights. And I feel like it makes a big difference just in trying to um, illuminate these houses because they're really, really dark otherwise. Um, and also this one did not come with the second floor because I found it at the thrift store. So I had to make the second floor. Um, and I just covered it with scrapbook paper to make sort of a, you know, wood looking floor. Um, yeah, but that is that house. Um, and I'll turn this one around next so you guys can see the inside of that. Okay, so I turned this around. This is so hard to turn around, y'all. Um, I also brought the light close so you guys can see uh, what we've done. I made a little dividing wall. Um, we wallpapered. We made some bedding. Um, I painted the floors. Um, I think they're sort of like a light. They're more like this color, this sort of um, light wood color. Painted the floors, did the curtains, painted the bed, um, made it all cutey cute. And I love the living room area. Let's see if I can show you. I'll move the family out of the way so that you can see um, more close up. But I painted the ceiling. It's a little hard to see, but there are flowers in the ceiling. Um, I, I, told, I went hardcore on this one, guys. Hardcore. And also around the fireplace, I painted the reflection of the um, what would be the fire on the stone. So I faux painted that as well. I love how that turned out. It looks, looks like really, really realistic. Um, so that was really cool. And um, yeah, a lot of this furniture is also Honeybee Acres from Walmart. And it's just a mix of things I've already had. Good Calico Critter stove. Um, this is some Playmobil chairs. Um, yeah, I just love how this one turned out. I want to electrify it like that one so it can light up um, with the same lights. Um, there's not a lot of ceiling though, especially on the second floor. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. Um, but yeah, it was really, really fun to, um, to set it up. So yeah, so those are my two houses that I fully, fully finished. Um, and I'm hoping to do like my other houses in the same, in the same vein, sort of make them realistic and cool and sort of old and weathered. So yeah. All right. So that is my sort of shelving area. This one, this big, huge house on the bottom is also all finished. Um, it's just enormous. It's one of those like enormous Swamobile houses. I like it because when you ring the doorbell, the doorbell rings, um, but it is just enormous. So I don't turn it around. It's, it's the problem with these houses. It's really, really hard to turn them around. Like when you want to get to the back. So it'd be fun to have it out on a table with like room in the back so you could get around. Um, the bottom area is sort of my camping area with my campers. Um, this is a Playmobil haunted house. It opens up. It's really cool. I just, this isn't organized yet. This whole area needs to be organized. Um, but yeah, I mostly just have this done. All right. Now we're going to move on to my favorite place, which is the armoire. And I have something a little special in the armoire. I'll show you next. Okay, guys. So the armoire is my school. Yeah. Y'all know that when I go, I go big. So, um, yes. Yeah, so this is my school. Um, here on the top floor is a Playmobil school um, by Playmobil. 
And um, let's see if I can get over here without blocking the light completely. Let's move the lighting over here. There we go. Um, but this I've sort of set up. Um, this is the cafeteria area here, the food area. This is like little bathrooms, y'all. With little like toilets and stuff. Like I'm not even kidding. How cute is that? Little lockers. Like the detail of this is so cute. Little bikes. This is the gym. Um, in 2020, they had their school party in the gym and I decorated it. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, and this also has an elevator when this is the elevator here that comes, this is the principal's office. This of course is the art room. Cause that was my favorite room, um, in school. And of course they're all making Halloween art cause it's fall, permanently fall. Um, these are also little Halloween drawings I made and hung up on the wall. And this of course is the choir room. Cause that was my other favorite music. So the choir teacher was just sort of <laughs> living in there in the choir room. Um, but these are little um, sheet musics that I made um, in 2020. Like, I'm not kidding y'all, I made these. So, hardcore, I went hardcore in 2020. Um, I set this one up as another classroom. I just have so many different families, it's hard to fit, out, fit them all in there. And this is the cafeteria. Um, I stole some chairs. I always steal from different things I'm not using when I'm doing different house to, you know finish it up but these are what's really fun this is my playground area and also my main classroom section and all the classrooms of course are decorated for fall um and all the kids have their own names on the desks i i named all the kids i don't even remember what their names are honestly because that was in 2020 um i really haven't set this up since then um that's just so so stinking cute and then i have um a little background through if you can see through the window um, back here through the window. Um, it's like a little, like Halloween Calico Critters background I have back out there. So it sort of looks like you're looking outside. Um, so that's so super cute. And then just more fall decorated rooms. Let's see, I'm trying not to block the lighting too much. But this one used to say autumn, but I think one of them fell down. It did. I'll have to put that back up. Um, but yeah, super, super cute. And um, just more fall goodness. And so these lights are different, obviously. Um, I've just rigged them up with command hooks and they're much bigger. They're also battery powered lights from Amazon. They give much better lighting than these. These don't really give any lighting, um, but these give awesome lighting. So I definitely prefer these over the other ones. These are just like much more bulky because they have like a really, really thick cord and just the, the batteries don't last that long um, on either of them really. But yeah, so that is my school. Um, and it's all decorated for fall. I just leave it up for fall. I did like in 2020, I did all the seasons, um, but that just got crazy. So for now, I just leave it up <laughs> for fall. And we have more fall leaves. Um, yeah, this is really, really super cute. And it's battery powered. So if we want to turn it off, um, we just, Oop, wrong button. And this one you have to get down here. There we go. Um, so it's easy to turn on and off with the battery powered lights. And then turn back on. But yes, this is one of my favorite things that I've done. Um, for a Calico Critters, it's just so stinking cute. It'd be really, really fun to do a shopping mall in a similar vein, like with a similar type of setup. It'd be fun to do that. But for now, it's my school. So let's turn this back on, shall we? Um, you should go way back down here. There we go. Turn that back. So anyway, so this is these are like sort of the three sections over here that I have um, of my village. We have the actual village on the table here and then we have the school and the armoire and then just the other houses and like village shops over here because I don't really have space what I really want to do is just more tables like I would be fun to to do more tables um in this room and we'll and I'll, sh I'll turn around and show you what I'm thinking it could be really fun so right now my bed is sort of in the middle of the room and then I have all the calico curtis stuff in this corner of course I also have more here these are four more I totally did the interior um all of the interiors are done this is just sort of an example of what I do with the interiors. This one just has a lot of wallpaper. Um, it just looks really, really super cute. So I have these done. These down here are all works in progress. And then this is my favorite, y'all. This is a Playmobil Scooby-Doo haunted house. 
Um, it is so cool. Oh, let me turn it around and show so you. So it is super dusty and nasty. <laughs> I need to dust this whole thing. Um, but like, it has all these interactive things in it and it's really cute. They're Scooby. It's just really, really dusty, but it's one of my favorite pieces. And um, if I expand the, um, expand all of this, it'd be fun to do like a haunted house sort of setup. But yeah, so what I'm thinking is um, I take this bed and I put it here in the corner. Um, this is Toby's ramp that he hates, he never uses. So I could just, you know, donate that because he, with his arthritis, it's too hard for him to get up. So get rid of that. I could move this bed to um, this corner, coming out of the corner, and then move everything down and then have like at least like another like table coming this way, maybe two tables. And move the armoire downstairs. Leave the school in it, but move it downstairs. And then just have more tables. And then move these here. I don't know. It'd be like a giant Calico Critter village. I, I want to do like the whole room. This whole room Calico Critters. But like I need like a place to sleep, obviously. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be crazy. But um, it's just, it's so fun. I love doing, I think I love doing the foliage and the landscaping the best. Um, and it's really hard to do that when you don't have like a table set up done a little bit, um, a little bit in here, um, just where I could, and then some over here as well, but not the same thing. So yeah, it'd be fun to, um, to expand the village and, uh, get more stuff going. But this is just my, my other hobby besides Halloween that I love is miniatures, specifically calico critters and, um, just decorating the houses and setting up little scenes, doing a little landscaping. Um, yeah, it's just, it's been a lot of fun. I think my next, of course, thing is just to continue finishing the houses to this caliber, um, making them sort of aged type of thing and um, just redo painting all of the things. Cause I, spe I especially like when you get these uh, little woodsy sets, like they just have sort of strange coloring. Like they only paint certain things and leave other things just like blank it's just it's very sort of strange so I want to repaint all this stuff and uh, make it look cool and then we're gonna do like a huge Halloween autumn setup um but yeah that's it what do you guys think let me know in the comments um if you want to see more of this content let me know um and yeah there we have it okay <laughs> so there we have it yeah, that is my Calico Critters Village and just, you know, what I've done in the shelving. Um, is it what, like my dream village? No, no, it's not. But like, is it fun? Yeah. And I love setting up different scenes. Um, I have some pictures of Calico Critters trick treating and I'll try and find those and post them next. You guys can just see what I did in 2020. It is so fun. It's just so fun to like get into something you really wanted to do as a kid and couldn't do because like who has the money to buy to collect Calico Critters when you're like 10? Um, but it's just a really fun side hobby. Um, it's a fun side hobby to do. So if you want to see more of this content, let me know. Um, yeah, I can do more color critter miniature type things. Um, and yeah, thanks for, thanks for stopping by guys. Um, if you want more Halloween fun year round, you can find me on Instagram under the Halloween collector and Halloween Hill studio and under Etsy on Halloween Hill studio. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by. And if you love my channel, please consider giving my channel a follow. I greatly appreciate it. Um, and yeah, keep on spooking.